Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Smith & Wesson 610 revolver that is chambered in 10 millimeter. Now, I am told that Smith brought this back for 2019. They had a Smith 610 or at least a 10 millimeter revolver many years ago, possibly 9, 10 years ago. And they brought it back this year for 2019. And I have to believe that is because of the popularity of the 10 millimeter round. Many people love the 10 millimeter round. We're seeing more and more manufacturers chamber guns in 10 millimeter. And I think it really is high in demand. And I also noticed that a lot of people are reloading it. But here it is. It's built on an end frame, which is big, thick, and heavy. And it is a six shot, which is where I think they got the name 610. Just makes sense to me. Six shots of 10 millimeter. And 610 seems like the obvious name. But here it is. It does have the rubber grip and a big, fat, wide cylinder. They, they categorize this in their hunting series, and this is the 4-inch model. They also make the exact same thing with a 6.5-inch barrel, and both have an MSRP of 969 Now, if we do a quick size comparison with the Cold King Cobra, you can see the difference in the size of the cylinder with the 357 here and the 10 millimeter right there. Okay, rubber grips, wood grips with this target model. And you can see the difference in the front sight. Both adjustable rear sights, matte finish, shiny finish, both stainless steel. But it does have a U-notch there, adjustable rear sight, and a ramped up all black front sight. It also has serrations on top of the barrel, which is to cut down on some of the glare. I took it out shooting, you know, not a lot of rounds. I, I borrowed this gun. This is not mine. I, I, I borrowed it from a friend. And you may notice that I am featuring a lot of revolvers lately. Well, good eyes. First off, good eyes. I am working my way up to a 2019 comprehensive compilation of revolvers that were released this year and this smith 610 suits the bill quite well so i took it to the range it, it shot just as i had expected the one thing that i noticed and, and here is the moon clip they, it does come with three moon clips is that this 10 millimeter case expands quite a bit so as you fire these well let's see if i can get it in there it's kind of hard without without the uh bullets attached but as you can see the one of the reasons and this is kind of making my point the reason i can't get it in there is because these cases expanded okay so i'm i'm gonna leave it there but the the cases expand so as you go to hit the ejector rod to eject those empty cases they they stick you have to really push to get those out so don't expect so a quick reload right and many people are wondering that you know that because it's a 10 millimeter will it fire 40 smith and wesson and it does and here it is right here I, I i wasn't smart enough to bring six rounds i brought five rounds just to demonstrate a function test with the 40 smith and wesson and it fired all five rounds without issue and it even says on the site that it will fire 40 smith and wesson no problem look at how thick that moon clip is you know it's it's like a sheet metal that's about it seems to me to be much thicker than most moon clips out there, but it, it certainly does do its job. But here it is. Let's take a closer look at this. All right. I already mentioned four inch barrel. There's what we're looking at. It has the dreaded Hillary hole, which people hate. And they say Smith caved on that. And their, their revolvers have the Hillary hole, which is a lock there, which will lock up the entire revolver at this one is no different. It has it. Already show clear. Double action trigger pull. Very heavy, as expected. And one thing about the Smith trigger that's worth mentioning is that that is case hardened. All right, so is the, the hammer. So it has a dirty look to it. If we look over here, it looks dirty, but it's case hardened, which actually makes it a stronger metal. So I, I do think that that is a nice touch with the Smith hammer and trigger. The single action trigger pull, I measure right at, or close to, shall I say, four and a half pounds. Okay, so it's not a feather trigger, 
but it is of course a very short pull now when you measure triggers it's very seldom the exact same trigger rate trigger weight it's it's not it's it varies so i do it six or seven times and pretty much take the average and for this i am measuring at four and a half pounds in single action full under lug all right big old end frame let's get it on the scale and we'll check out the weight this is part of their hunting series so you know the multi-use of 10 millimeter is definitely hunting is part of its multi-use two pounds 11 and one eighth ounce we move that to just ounces we're looking at 42 and one eighth in an unloaded weighing and it's actually that's actually a little more heavy than what smith says on their site all right so it does have the the uh, rubber grip there i i like you know on revolvers i like that wood grip but i understand if you're going to use this for for hunting or whatever the case you know the the 10 millimeter does hit you back a little bit and this will hopefully tame some of that nice shiny finish to it all right and we'll take a look at the cylinder the ejection arm okay the forcing cone there's everything internally that makes the very popular by the way smith revolvers that people trust their lives with every time i feature a revolver they say well you know i'll just stick with my smith and western revolvers and 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 i totally get that this has a very familiar look you know he says it looks like the 686 it looks like some other models that are out there but if you study their site and their 2019 models this actually has a look of its own and that is the Smith & Wesson 610 in 10 millimeter, and here it is, sure does shoot nice, and for those who love the 10 millimeter round in a big heavy end frame revolver, this will suit the bill for you. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.